In this video, we will study about the zeroth law of thermodynamics. See, let us see the definition first. Two systems in thermal equilibrium with a third system separately or, ther or in thermal equilibrium with each other. The earlier mentioned two systems. So first we will uh, do some kind of experiment to understand this. Let us imagine there are three systems A, B and C. And also we will imagine A and B are isolated with adiabatic wall. Okay, this is adiabatic wall. That is, this will not allow energy to flow from this way to this way, both ways. And we will also assume that both A and B are in contact with the C through a conductive wall. This is conductive wall. So, energy can flow from A to uh, C, C to A, B to C, C to B. <clears throat> and we will leave it like that for some, some time. Then what happens? Energy will flow. And heat, we are interested very, we are, we are interested in thermal equilibrium. So, the heat will flow from higher, we don't know which is higher, from higher point to the lower point and try to come to thermal equilibrium. Okay. Then we will leave it for some time, like that. What will happen? It will try to, A and C, B and C will try to become equal, thermally equal, thermal equilibrium. So after that, what we will do, we will put this um, adiabatic wall here. here and connecting wall between A and B. See now no energy can flow from here to here means A to C or C to A, B to C and C to B it is not possible. Now this can flow A to B it can flow, B to A it can flow. Okay <clears throat> but what happened is uh, <clears throat> when we make the observation there is no flow of energy is happening. There may be heat not happening between these two. These two are as it is. How it was here, it was in the same position. So what we <clears throat> done so far, let us put it mathematically. Let us see that we have measured the temperature in this condition. Means after doing this, allowing it to <clears throat> stabilize for some time, we measured the temperature of this. This is Ta, this is Tb, and this is Tc. Okay. So as we discussed, <coughs> the energy flu, flu, flow happened between these two, and it has come to thermal equilibrium. That means what? Ta is equal to Tc, and Tb equal to Tc. This happened here. See, mathematically, why this is not happening is when Ta equal to Tc and Tb equal to Tc, then it is Ta equal to Tb. So, <clears throat> no need of, because both are at the same temperature. Okay. There is no need to, uh, uh, heat, heat cannot flow because there is, there is, there is no difference between um, uh, temperatures of A and B. Okay. Now we will revisit. With this, it is clear that two systems in thermal equilibrium, that is A and B, with a third system separately, with C, that is separately here, okay, <clears throat> or in thermal equilibrium with each other. In this, what we have found, this, these two A and B are thermal equilibrium, <clears throat> in thermal equilibrium. So here we have put adiab adiabatic wall. Only it was <coughs> thermally equal to uh, C. But afterwards we have isolated C. But still this maintain that. So this is the <coughs> definition. Very important definition. Two systems in thermal equilibrium with the third system separately. Or in ther thermal equilibrium with each other. Okay. Here what we have done is. 
the first time we have introduced temperature concept of temperature is formally introduced here in this zero uh, <clears throat> zero eighth law of thermodynamics so let us understand so what is temperature those things i will write here these are very very important the concepts okay the first one is temperature is a marker of the hotness of your body the short, short form temperature is a marker of the hotness of your body okay body okay it is only uh, it will tell hot or cold whether it is oh, two temperatures two <coughs> systems are there we can say oh this is uh, hotter than this okay and the second one it determines the direction of flow of heat when two bodies are placed in thermal contact but also let me write it determines the direction of flow of heat when <coughs> two bodies are placed in thermal contact okay third one we are not i have not told anything about temperature here all are <coughs> mm. hotness only okay heat means I told temperature but not heat. Heat flows from the body at a higher temperature to the lower temperature to the lower temperature maybe to the one at lower temperature okay so heat flows okay fourth one the flow stops when the temperature equalizes when both temperatures are equal, then there is no flow of temperature. So, temperature <coughs> we introduced here. Let me just read what I have written. Temperature is a marker of the hotness of your body. It will tell, see, <coughs> we cannot say hot, uh, it is, this is hotter than that. So, scientifically, temperature will tell some value. It determines the direction of flow of heat when two bodies are placed in thermal contact. Because we know now the value of it higher value lower value we know it will flow from higher value to lower value that is what is given here heat flows from the body at higher temperature to the one at lower temperature the flow stops when the temperature equalizes okay <clears throat> for these things um, what are the conditions and all we will see later then you may be wondering why it is called zeroth law of thermodynamics why it is not called first law of thermodynamics okay so for that there is a reason see in 1931 R.H. Fowler only formulated this law this is when the R.H. Fowler formulated this law in 1931 already <coughs> Um, first law of thermodynamics, second law of thermodynamics were accepted and everybody was accepted but it was there in the, uh, in the scientific world. So they want to put this also along with that. So this is the beginning of <coughs> the uh, thermodynamics laws. So they don't have any option, they have made it zeroth law of thermodynamics. That is the reason why it is called zeroth law. Nobody will start from zero. All law starts from First, second, like that. 
so this is because this law was like <coughs> uh, formulated after the first and second laws okay for that reason it is uh, called zero here so in my next <coughs> video i will tell about the internal energy of a system okay